Hello, Keith here with Math and Games. Today, we're playing MBT by GMT Games. We're doing Situation 2 with all basic and advanced rules plus the bog rule. We are on turn 14. I've already done the spotting phase and the command phase. So the situation as it stands right now, the Russians are on their last legs. Over here in this woods, they have a spigot team, which is an anti-tank gun. And no, heavy machine gun, which is an anti-tank gun. Heavy machine gun. They have a squad in the woods. And over here, they have the spigot team. And they have a vehicle. And they haven't loaded onto the vehicle yet. Over here on the right, they have a BTR-70. They have a half squad over here in this town, and they have a full squad over here in this town. The commands I gave them were fire. They only had four commands, fire right here. So over here, this BTR-70 is going to try to take out this AM-113, and over here, I gave this half squad a fire command. Now, I didn't give this, let me circle it. I didn't give that right there a fire command because the way they're facing, they're suppressed and they can only see in the front six degree arc, so they can't see the Americans. So and I wanna check I wanna to check to see when you can change your facing for infantry units. That's something that's a rule I, I gonna need to look up. Also over here, I have an American tank facing this heavy machine gun squad, and I'm just going to fire right into them, explosion, explosives. But the question I have is, this right here can spot, because it's right next to, so that tank can spot that spigot. That spigot is under full cover, and it's in medium cover too, so it'd be very hard to see. And these, inherently, would not be able to see that unit, but... Can this unit spot for those two units? Can those two units fire at them? For the time being, I'm going to say, yes, this unit can spot for those two units. But I may be wrong about that. Over here, so the reason I didn't move this unit right here is because I want to capture that green victory point. And over here, it's another green victory point. I have two vehicles on the bridge. One is going to stay behind. Because if it stays behind at the end of this turn, they get credit for three point credit for it. But the other tank and this tank over here are going to go into the city. Actually, you know what? This is the unit on the victory point hex right here. So I messed up. And over here, I'm just giving everybody fire commands in the city. So we're going to roll for initiative. NATO first. And Warsaw Pact. Well, low rolls. So NATO has the initiative. Okay, so this unit is going to fire. Oh, yep, at this unit right here, right next to it. So let's see what unit this is. So that's a motorized infantry. There will be a seven. So let's just go through the charts. I'd rather do it right than... So let's go to leg unit, leg units, squads, mechanized infantry seven, okay. And then we go to the Soviets. Soviets are in medium cover because they're in the woods. Medium cover, I need leg units. Squads, so I go to medium cover, six. And they're under full cover, plus two. So it's going to be seven to eight. Those are the only modifiers. So we go to the GP fire chart. So seven fire, eight defense. Down that column. And we have 58 and 89. So we'll roll. Row 77, so that gets suppression on this unit right here. 
That's some decent shooting. And I'll mark this with the spot small arms fire. Click spot small arms fire. Okay, now who else can fire? Well, the, the big guy right here. The tank. <coughs> they can use this coaxial. I believe you can also fire GP ammo. So it's an M60A3. And you're firing GP, range of 7. But it's 7 because it's going to be the coaxial gun. Just going to be firing. So it's going to be 7. I'll check the modifiers. So it's a section in full cover, so it's going to be 7 to 8, but there may be modifiers. 7 to 8. Coaxial machine gun, plus 10 to the dice roll. Versus P or S. It's non ear gun. So it's still going to be, it's going to be a 7 to 8. So they're hunkered down. Even if they're suppressed, they're still hunkered down. 7 to 8 is 58, 89. Should just over him. And that's a miss. Delete that, and it's already marked with a. Now this unit right here, one, two, three, and this unit right here. I'm gonna get back to those. I'm gonna go move here on to the right. This M113 is gonna fire against this BTR70. M113A2. Point blank range, AP. Let's see, so the penetration factor is four. And the armor on that BTR 70 is very weak. So if you look at it from the front, hull front is really the only thing that won't penetrate that. So there's no problem with penetration. So now we look at the modifier, so it's point blank range, and we want to take a look at the modifiers for that shot. Okay, target size, nope. Target moving, no. Light cover, medium cover, light cover, minus one. And I think that's the only thing. Yep. Yeah. So I need an 81 to hit. And 96 is a miss. Because you need 81 or under. 96 is a miss. Wow. Alright, so that fire command goes away. Who else can fire over here? Okay, yeah. So I had that fire command right in the center of those three hexes. So all my units over there can fire. So this unit right here, and once again, that's going to be 7 to 8, but the firing unit is suppressed, so there'll be a modifier to that. Okay, firing unit suppressed. Shooter, no burst, no steam transfer, no watch chest. Let's look right here. Let's look on their card. Nope. There's a modifier to the die roll if you shoot. Oh, there we are. Sure, suppress minus 20. So it's going to be 7 to 8 minus 20. Actually, that's light cover. That's woods. 
I mean, that's a wooden building that's light covers, so that changes things a bit. So it's going to be 7 to 6 with the minus 20 on the die roll. It's going to be a 49 or 80 right after. So it's going to be a 60, so that's just going to be suppression. Now that would have been casualty reduction otherwise, but. So that becomes suppression on. I have to make that sure that's marked with the small arms fire. Okay. Now this unit. And this unit is not suppressed. So it's going to be the same odds. And that causes this unit over here to do casualty reduction. Mm -hmm. If they haven't already been reduced. No, they were already ahead. Right, good shooting. I'm trying to delete you. There you go. I delete. So the Americans are taking charge here. Good. Okay. And I think that's it for the American, i.e. NATO fire phase. These two right here. I have questions. Let, well, let's take a look at the spotting range for this unit. So this is a leg unit. Let's do this the right way. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to look at spotting. I have a leg unit. Right? It's in medium cover minus two. And it's targeting full cover so it's going to be zero minus four so that's a range a spotting range of one but it has a fire marker on it so one two three so spotting range of seven because it fired if it didn't fire well spot fire a small arm so one becomes a two are there any other modifiers okay so only units that are within two can fire on that one, two. So I'm going to say these units cannot fire at that because they can't do spotting on that. And only this unit can actually see it. I'm actually going to go with that. When in doubt, they'll be very conservative. So these guys can't fire. Their turn is over. I'm going to mark them fires because they thought they saw something. Okay, I believe that's it for the Americans. Now the Soviets. So over here, this heavy machine gun. Now it's not able to fire at this tank, but it is able to fire at this unit on the bridge. I have a spot fire on them too, do I? Yeah, I do. I thought I did. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to do these guys first because they're the easier ones to do. So it's going to be a 7. Just going to check. Okay, so it's going to be a 7, 2. And this guy isn't under full cover. Interesting. So it's going to be a 7 to 6. The shooter suppressed will be a minus 20 to the dice roll. Seven to six with the minus twenty on the dice roll. Forty-nine and eighty. Fifty-two, but the minus twenty will have no effect. Is there some? Okay. You gotta make sure I mark them spot fire. Small arms fire.
And once I'm done with this, I'm going to look up the rules, like, for these two vehicles over here. <laughs> the fire plug. This unit right here, heavy machine gun unit. I think we've been through this last time, and I believe it didn't have a target that it could hit. Okay. See, penetration factor of four. It's not going to be able to do any damage, so. Fired something and it couldn't hit it. Should have just kept quiet. Spot fire, okay. Over here. Excuse me, we'll pop open the soda. Okay, the Speed Terror 70, it's going to fire against this M113. Remember the M113 is in the building, it's fully hull down. It's a wheeled vehicle, Speed Terror 70. So I can either fire armor piercing or GP, I'm going to fire armor piercing. It's point blank range, let's see if there's any modifiers. I believe there's a minus one modifier on thirteen. Size modifier. Yeah, minus one. And size modifier. So minus one size modifier. It's in brick building. So you gotta take that into consideration. Which gives medium cover. So it's point blank minus four. So target size minus one, target medium cover minus three is minus four. I believe that's it. So point blank range minus four. I need 54 to hit. 21. <coughs> I believe that's a hit. Now I have to see where it hits. So we're going to the front side. Hits the turret front. Does it penetrate? That's the next question. So we're going front side. Turret front for a 113. See, that's the one spot. It's turret side, they have a chance to hit, but. It's turret front so it bounces off and it doesn't penetrate. Now I have to check for bailing. Okay. And one more shot here. These guys. So it's a half squad Soviet. Four firepower. The Americans are in brick buildings under full cover. So that'll be six, eight. So that'll be four to eight. No other modifiers, four to eight. Just gotta be careful because they're under full cover too. I don't think that's would have an effect, but shooter is not suppressed. So that's going to be a 4 to 8, no modifier, I need a 70 or a 98, very difficult hit, 79, okay, so that does get suppression, so that flips that suppression over, suppression on, again, for some reason when I, it also, yeah, 
Oh, right, your suppression also supports the break, too. All right, so that's it for the fire phase. Now we'll have the Soviet movement phase. I do not believe the Soviets have movement. Nope. Now the American movement phase. One of these vehicles here has its own command. And it's going to move one into the city, two, three. Let's check because it's going in alleyways of the city. So it costs two. So two, three, free turn. Four, five. And that's it. All right, so it looks like that BKR-70 is not going to live much longer. This unit can only go as far as here because this unit, I want to keep this unit on the bridge. I believe that's it for the movement phase. Yep. Okay, so we're running out of time here. We have one more turn left, which will be turn 15. And we'll finish out the combat. Yeah, things are not looking good for the Soviets. That's for sure. All right, I'm going to I'll look up a couple of rules. I'll be right back. This rule I want to look up. I want to look up a rule that if one vehicle has spotted a target, the other vehicles can also fire upon that target. Also are considered as spotting on that target. I need to look that up. Okay, so meanwhile, I'm going to... Because the Americans have been sitting... I got clone one. Clone two. Because the Americans have been sitting on these bridges for at least two turns, they get credit, victory point credit for them. So they'll get points for those they'll get points for this one over here they won't get points for the one left oh i still have that poor squad sitting there <laughs> i should i should have just had that squad move up to the bridge and take that bridge but oh well okay i think that's it full cover who do i want in full cover basically i'm just gonna say okay so now we do suppression so right here that suppression on becomes suppression off. So all suppression ons become suppression off. Now, if your suppression off, right, you roll to see if they can totally eliminate that suppression. So let's go to the chart. Where is it? Suppression. Suppression recovery. It's over here and on the right. Let's see. Okay, there you go. So season, it's 1 through 60, but there are modifiers. It had a command other than no command. It had a fire command, which basically was away. So it's plus 20. It was on fire, plus 30. So it needs a 60, but it's plus 30 to the dice roll. And it does not get it. It's still suppressed, but suppressed off still. Okay, that's it for turn 14. Next, we're going to go on to turn 15. I thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.